What's up everybody and welcome to my Friday night Smackdown review. A lot of big things kicking off the show tonight. To start off with Brad Maddox and Vicky Guerrero in the ring. They pretty much kicked off the show about the authority figure that has not happened in WWE since they were there to take control in SmackDown and make sure Big Show doesn't get in and interrupts the show like he did last Monday on Raw in that tag team match. And pretty much showing their gratitude to Stephanie McMahon and Triple H pretty much until Daniel Bryan came to the ring talking about what's best for business that he beats Randy Orton at Hell in a Cell for the WWE Championship. And um, pretty much um, um, Daniel Bryan said he had Big Show with him tonight and he called out the Big Show but his music hit and he didn't even come out. He was just kidding with him but he brought out the new tag team champions Goldust and Cody Rhodes. They pretty much were in the ring Goldust Lee and Vicky very weirdly and pretty much Vicky Guerrero made a match for night that all three of you are going to go in a six man tag against the Shield and she pretty much didn't even laugh after that. So yeah. The Wyatt family went against the Miz and Kofi Kingston. Wyatt family won. After that, um, they're about to attack Miz, but uh, Bray Wyatt cut a promo saying something to ease down and stuff. And said that uh, um, Miz should be afraid and said the world can be cruel and stuff. And he said enjoy while you still can, but because they're going to take everything away from the Miz, they say. So, um, yeah. Uh, Brie Bella went against AJ. I don't much to talk about here about this match. Uh, it was alright, I say, at least for a women's match once in a while. It was kind of really, I say, somewhat good last Monday also. AJ pretty much went against, um, yeah, she pretty much went against Brie Bella. And Brie Bella pretty much won the match out of nowhere with an X Factor beating AJ in the ring, pinning her. So, pretty much having it right there. Uh, Lillian Garcia is about to announce the next match until Big Show came out. Thanking all the fans and stuff for all their support through the internet and everything and social media. And they, every, he knows that everybody wants to see the Big Show get his job back. And B Brad Max and Vicky Guerrero came out and said, like, what are you doing here? So, like, get out. Get out. You don't belong in this building. Pretty much. Like, you got to get out. You have nothing left around here. And Big Show pretty much says, it is for someone enough, pretty much enough of a man to lose and stuff since he has nothing to lose. He pretty much knocked the fucking hell out of Brad Max. I thought Brad Max had a bullet hit in his face almost. When you watch Big Show knock out Brad Maddox with his hand, I swear that you watch it in slow motion. Even in regular motion, just he knocks the fucking hell out of Brad Maddox like it was nothing. Like it was so like a bullet almost. His head went back and forth, falling to the ground. My God, you should go check out that replay of Brad Maddox getting knocked the hell out by the big show. Jesus. CM Punk went against Biggie Langston. Uh, which was pretty much, I say, a really good match on here tonight. It's clobbering time. Punk pretty much went against him. Um, Punk won with the uh, GTS after kicking him in the head. Really good match. Paul Heyman then came out, cu come out, cut a promo. Him and Kurt Curtis Axel and Ryback were on stage talking about Hell, hell in a Cell and calling Biggie Lakes and a marginal rookie and talking to CM Punk, the, his prodigal son, about what will happen and stuff. And then Paul said he was the best in the world. And CM Punk pretty much says, you're pretty much making yourself a complete idiot for anyone that tries to believe that and stuff. Because he's going to be focusing on the cell, he's saying. And he's going to get Heyman and Hell in a Cell and take down Ryback also and stuff. And Heyman said, says pretty much, Hell is not a bad place to be, he says pretty much. And pretty much, um... Uh, dropped the mic and everything, and Punk pretty much ran and was going to go after them. Right back and Curtis Axel were attacking Punk out there, beating them up until Big Langston got in the ring and just started looking. And then out of nowhere, face turned. Big Langston just started beating the hell out of Curtis Axel and help and uh, right back him and seeing Punk beating the fucking hell out of them, knocking them out of the ring. And I gotta say, really good match from Langston and Punk. I guess it's a good idea to put Biggie Langston in a face turn right now. So, we'll see what happens right there. Since he, you know, he's gonna turn Biggie Langston face. But, uh, I guess it's a good, uh, look for that. 
Alberto Del Rio came out with a Mexican flag and Josh Matthews interviewed him showing the whole video package of John Cena and he said John Cena was wow for what two months and everything with a bro with a hurt arm and stuff and he was coming back from surgery and he's out of fight him in hell in a cell and he pretty much says I'm gonna show what he's gonna do to John Cena's arm at hell in a cell pretty much taking Josh Matthews and putting him in the cross arm break and making him tap and then letting him go then. The Real Americans went against the Usos. Antonio Cesaro, 32 freaking swings on him. A uh, really good commentary from uh, Zeb Coulter, which I thought was very funny. Really great tag team match between the Real Americans and Usos. Pretty much, uh, um, Los Matadores came out since they got speaking on him on commentary. And about El Torito. Pretty much, El Torito came in and pretty much did a gore or a gore nut shot on, uh, Zeb Coulter and then knocking him in the butt and, and knocked him on the ground. Pretty much the Real Americans got distracted and the Usos were taking him out. Pretty much Jimmy, I don't know who it was Uso, pretty much pulled off a fucking huge super kick on um, Jack Swag. I thought he was going to knock the hell out of him out right there. It was so hard of a kick. Hit him with the Uso splash. Pretty much picked up the win. And then El Torito and, and uh, Los Matadores pretty much attacked him after that. So I guess they are trying to do this whole Mexican, like, you know, Los Matadores versus the Real Americans now, so we'll see what's with that. Yeah, I think El Torito is somewhat getting nice, better in a way, getting over with the crowd, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Daniel Bryan came out pretty much for his entrance until Randy Orton then came out talking about saying, talking about his girlfriend and stuff. He said it's not going to be any catchphrases or anything in Hell in a Cell because he already has enough problems to deal with you and throughout his career he's had to deal with Shawn Michaels. So um, he said he's going to beat him at Hell in a Cell and he will be the new face of the WWE again and be the WWE Champion when he beats Daniel Bryan at Hell in a Cell. And pretty much set up for the six man tag. Daniel Bryan, Cody Rhodes and Goldust going against the Shield. Well, I've got to say Fan fucking tastic match, just like usual with a six man tag. I gotta say, it was crazy all over the place. Roman Reigns spirits had a steel step. Seth Rollins threw the power bomb on, on Rose into Goldust over the announce table. Ambrose and uh, Daniel Bryan is crashing into the hell out of each other right there. Hell, Daniel Bryan double suicide died on uh, Daniel, I mean, uh, suicide died on uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. I gotta say that. Pretty much knocking him over the announce table. Pretty much Daniel Bryan ended off with the knee hitting out Dean Ambrose. Winning the match. Pretty much the crowd's going crazy with the yes chance out there. Picking up the win over the shield tonight. So I gotta say a really great man event tonight on SmackDown. Really a good episode. Really great episode of SmackDown tonight. So I gotta say yeah, check it out. Real good episode tonight of SmackDown. And hey, you never know what's gonna be in store this Monday they say. About the contract signing with Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship at Hell in a Cell and Shawn Michaels and Stephanie and Triple H will be there this Monday. But like I but still, watch this episode of SmackDown. Comment, subscribe. Once again, you know it's me, it's me, the H double O D. Coming here with the news and the reviews. Tonight it was going down. We are now done with this review of Friday night SmackDown. Watch out for this Sunday. Mostly live reactions for Bound for Glory 2013 TA. But I am done with this episode of SmackDown tonight. I will see you guys later. Peace.